Welcome to our rental monthly market update. I'm Nadine Orgelli, Senior Property Manager at Ristic Real Estate. The month of April saw our vacancy rate sitting at 3.96%. We received 613 tenant inquiries. We conducted 55 inspections with 129 attendees. 286 applications were received and processed, which from this we successfully leased 17 properties. Out of these properties, the average days on the market was 40 and $347 per week was the average rent achieved and this ranged from $130 per week for a bedroom and a shared accommodation property in Kingsbury all the way up to $440 per week for a four bedroom home in South Moray. This month we'd like to discuss with our landlord some of the changes surrounding the residential tenancies um, rules, regulations and guidelines due to COVID-19. Um, we've received a lot more clarification around these in the last two weeks. I'm just going to share with you some points that um, it will affect most of you. Um, first of all, rent increases cannot be served during this time, nor can any rent increases that were served before go into effect. Now this will last up until the 26th of September. So if you have served a rent increase prior to COVID-19, which is due to go into effect in any of these months leading up to September, please speak to your property manager as we will have to revoke that for the time being. Um, and we can discuss potentially reviewing that after the September guidelines. Also, there are no notice to vacates that can be served. Um, this varies all the way from notices to vacate for rental arrears, um, you know, whether you have sold your property or for no reason. Um, any notices, again, can't be served at the moment, nor can any notices that were served previously that are due to go into effect during this time. Um, and that, again, is also up to the 26th of September at this point. We have received um, a lot of phone calls and have had a lot of discussions with tenants at the moment going through financial hardship, having been affected um, for either reduction of work or loss of jobs during COVID-19. These tenants are filling out our tenant hardship application form. In a lot of these cases, they are asking for rent reductions from landlords um, and we have been in communication with those landlords. We are doing our best to negotiate something that is considered fair and reasonable for both parties. It is important that we all stay with open lines of communications during this time um, and try to negotiate everything as best we can. Unfortunately, if we can't come to an agreement, it is being escalated through consumer affairs. And at this point in time, we have managed to successfully negotiate all of our hardship applications and it has not come to this. Uh, it is important that we do take this on board and do our negotiations as once we come to an agreement between landlord and tenant, the tenant is then able to lodge for rent relief, um, which is a government subsidy that's coming up where they're paying out basically a lump sum of $2,000 towards the rent, which is beneficial for both tenant and landlord. Um, and then once this happens as well, there are government subsidies in place to assist the landlord further where they can uh, receive a reduction or a percentage discount on their land tax, for example. So lots of new regulations, lots of new guidelines, um, a lot's coming out, we're all learning together. Um, nothing like this has happened before. And we're here for you if you need our help. So whatever it is that you're after, if you need assistance, some clarification, or just to have a chat, we're here. Our property managers are all well equipped, everyone's up to date, and we're happy to guide you through anything that we can. We hope your families are all safe and we thank you for tuning into our monthly market update. We'll see you next month.